Hello everyone, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. Today we are moving to the next topic in output value which is text area output value. Here in previous tutorial we understood about text area or text check output value which generally allows you to extract one string at a time. So for different text you need to add different steps like you have to repeat the same step again and again but we have got another option for you if you want to extract multiple text at the same time and uh, we call it as text area output value. It is just simple that you want to extract multiple strings at the same time you go with text area so all you are allowed to do is a markup on the application which you target at the same time and during the extraction it just extracts whatever comes in the marked up area. So let's quickly get started with the understanding of the same. So here we have got a fresh new test which will allow you to do the same activity. I always recommend a new test. The reason is the previous settings can be lost so that it does not hamper your new execution and you do not have to debug and waste a lot of your time. So here all we need is an application as well to start doing the same thing. So I'm using the flight UI application as usual. Click on record and you just come to the uh, filling up the some data and moving to the next page where we can have more text at the same time. So just log in into this and then come to the checkpoint. So uh, here we have got a text area output value in the list of the checkpoint itself and you just click on that and then start marking up the area. So let's mark up a certain area where I'm targeting a lot of text which I will highlight to you. So if you see here I've got London Paris, the date, the label of the class that says class and then the value of the class as economy, the ticket as the label and the number one as the ticket value. And then say it is just a WPF tap strip which strip is defined by us and we can just quickly change the column where you want this to be saved maybe say my underscore data which will be stored here. Say OK and say OK. As usual, the step remains the same for other activities. Here is just to make sure that everything is done properly, like markup and all. Close this and stop recording. So all you've got is here is the script where you can see the output checkpoint WPF tab strip. And here is the column which will be accessing the runtime data and storing it in this particular cell that is first row of my data. So without wasting time, let's run the same thing and see how exactly it gives me the output for text area. Click on run by having the application on the screen. If you want, you can use invoke application or system you will run to save your time. So all right, there's a lot of things which has been extracted. So let's come to the result window. Data. And all you have to do is a little bit of expansion on this because everything will be stored within the same cell. So let's let's drag a bit more. All right, so we have got a lot of information here. You can see London, Paris, the date, and there was something which was hidden behind it. So you can see there's a dollar, euro mark, <clears throat> a class, ticket, economy, and the number of ticket as one. So what I mean to say is that exactly what we wanted to extract, we have got it here. Then you can try your Excel formulas here to separate them into different columns or different rows. And for that, you need to be familiar with Excel. So all you can do, maybe I also have a series on Excel for these basic things. You can quickly go there and have a look on the same thing, which will help you to understand more about Excel as well. So that's all from the text area output value, which allows you to extract multiple texts at the same time. So. Here is what we have got the same thing. Hope you understood the video, understood something new today. In case you have any query, feel free to comment it below. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep practicing. In case you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. That will just help you get a quick update about the latest videos on the same. Following that, thanks for watching team. Keep working. Happy learning.